<laughs> yeah, uh, the tractors are having to get wet right now because, well, I haven't had to truck long enough. And I, <laughs> I need to use it to go dump, but I can't. I can't do that yet. <laughs> it's compound, buffing compound. As I took that, that tags off the Ford over there, and it's a Chevrolet. And I get stopped, I'm, I'm doomed anyhow, you know, so I'm not doing this right here. I can't even get it tagged this weekend, yeah, or title transferred or anything. Mm. Sure is nice, though. <laughs> me and Angela, well, she goes to work with me every day. Uh, that's a lot of help. Just wouldn't believe I mean, I get to climb up and down ladders all day long. Look at my hands. That's from, uh, man, that's, mm. Putting on hurricane clips, you know, I take the soffit down and. <laughs> it's fun. Mm. But she's there, she helps me. She stays right with me. But she doesn't work like that, you know. What she does is just, you know, I take it down and hand it to her. And then if I need something, she. She gets it. I don't have to get up and run around. Now, it does look like it's got a third door. This, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do some really weird, ugly looking. But this is where it's leaking here. I believe here and here on that one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some white. I don't have anything really to fix it with except for tub and tile. And I can get just a little bit in there, I guess. Don't look like shit, <laughs> but it'll save the interior. Well, I need to clean it. It's gonna rain today, so I'm gonna clean it. I'll get some carpet cleaner and stuff, and it'll clean all this up. And it'll look great. Get it all vacuumed out and clean that, and then take it down to uh, next weekend and let them steam clean the carpets. Well, you talk about comfort. Oh wow. Need shocks, without a doubt. I can't go anywhere without my toilet paper, you know. <laughs> I'm like Linus. You need shocks. The rear end's bad. I mean, you still don't see she down. I brought that door in uh, yesterday. She was flat. <laughs> Me and Angela was running down the road, though. <laughs> it was hot. Well, I mean, it was hotter than hell outside. That's the road window. <laughs> We turned that air conditioner, oh boy, all of a sudden, within five minutes, we both turned around and looked at each other, just turned it off and <laughs> rolled the windows down. That's how cold it was. You just, you just couldn't stand it. Yeah, like it. Angela likes it too. She knows, and she knows now that I made a good trade. And this door over here, let's look at this one. Hold on. Walk around. Yeah, some of the crop left. My okra's not doing nothing really. But I tell you what, the rest of them up here on the porch are just getting it. My chives, these are my chives from well, my other house. And these are my survival essentials. These are all bell peppers through here. These are not doing anything. But this is the third door on this one. Uh, well, of course, you know, <laughs> I'm going to take this part and get another handle latch, you know, uh, then the door will open. And I make all that work anyway. I mean, I'm pretty good at that shit. Or it used to be anyway. About like this other job I got. Mm-hmm. I like the old truck. It's nice. It is. And these little windows pop out, these side windows. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That is pretty cool. It circulates the air through the whole cab. I like that. And you can turn the air on and open those up and you're, <laughs> and you're comfortable. The stereo, wow. Man, you talk about stereo, this thing. It, it's nice. It's all factory. This boy bought this truck brand new and worked it. That's what he did. He worked it. He was a, uh, uh, well, he cut trees and climbed trees and cut trees and stuff like that. He was a tree man. 
doing pretty good. They got 12 acres, him and his woman. They got 12 some odd acres. And I hadn't got any email back from them. I emailed them about uh, leaving the ranch. It's, it's nice. I need to clean it. I think that's what I'll do today. Yeah, it's going to rain, so that knocked me out of work. I was supposed to go and pull the window. That's what I was thinking. Look at that, man. That is nice. Huh. I need a buffer and some polish and some compound. I can pull a little bit of this, make it look good. So I'll get a buffer next weekend. You know, everything went on bills. We don't even have gas money, really. Gas money or cigar money or any kind of money. My old tools and my money makers. She didn't lock it. I told her to lock it. Your buddy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gotta go find my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I met another Texan. <laughs> I went and did his house. <laughs> yeah, that's in the evening. The first thing I am out there pulling all the soffit down. <laughs> I got talking to him. He told me he's wanting to go home. I said, Yeah, where's home? <laughs> Texas. Hey, how are you? <laughs> yeah. Put him a door in, too. Run around that house, and I put that door in. I'll, I'll show you the door I got. I got literally a brand new door for nothing. You know, I put him a new door in and took his door and brought it home. I'm going to put it on this side. I'm going to get around the mess. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. I've I'm just I've turned into uh, <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> All my little girls are getting wet. Mm. Not good. I don't have gas. Put none of them neither. <laughs> it's bad. Hell, I ain't gonna make it anyway. Mm. All right, y'all. Peace. Enjoy. <laughs>